homemade paper out of mushrooms that you've gathered yourself is a great activity. It all starts with a walk in the woods. Make sure you've got gloves and a paper bag to gather your mushrooms. You can find mushrooms in areas that are damp and have lots of nutrients in the soil, such as fallen leaves, moss, bark, and roots. Mushrooms are made with chitin, which is similar to cellulose, the main ingredient in wood-based paper. Chitin is also found in shrimp shells. To make homemade paper, I'm going to need some supplies. I have pre-soaked recycled paper in water so that when I tear it up, it's nice and fibrous. This will make it easy to blend in the blender later on. These fibers are necessary to help keep the paper together since the mushrooms that we've gathered are the soft kind and don't have their own fibers. I'll also need some sort of blender. This is an immersion blender, but you can use a regular kitchen blender. Don't use this blender for mushrooms and for food that you're going to be eating though. Mushrooms are not edible. We'll also need some hand towels, a couple of sponges, and, of course, the mushrooms you've gathered. Make sure to put on gloves to protect your hands. These are the mushrooms that I gathered. Since I'm not an expert at identifying wild mushrooms, I'm treating every mushroom as though it's a poisonous mushroom. I'm adding hot water to the mushrooms to kill any teeny bugs living in them. These are the ones that I found look most pink in color. I also collected mushrooms that look yellow and very dark brown. You don't have to divide your mushrooms up by color, but if you do, you'll get slightly different colors of paper in the end. If you get these types of mushrooms, called polypores, you'll have to soak them in water for a long time so that they're soft enough to blend. Right now, they're really hard. These mushrooms are fresh and really soft. When you're ready to get started, choose one of your colors of mushrooms and start squishing it. This just helps get the blender started. Once your mushrooms are ready, you can put them in the blender cup. Make sure you add some of that soaking wet paper as well. and plenty of water in the blender. The amounts don't have to be precise. Now blend. Make sure it's mixed well and really smooth. Add more water if you need to. Once your mushroom smoothie is done, you're going to need a basin this basin has to be bigger than your screen frame. I made my screen frame using a wooden 8x10 frame. I took the glass out of it and used a staple gun to staple in some screen from a screen door. Dump in your mushroom fibers and then add some water so that the fibers can float around freely. When you have a nice mixture and the fibers are suspended throughout the water, you can sink in your screen frame. Spread the floating fibers out over the screen and let it drain off. A lot of water will drip from the bottom. Then move to the towel and let it absorb some of the excess water from the back of the paper. Put down a hand towel and flip your paper over so that the screen is on top. Use your sponge to absorb the excess water from the back. As it dries, the paper will move off from the screen and onto the hand towel. 
It may take a bit of fi fiddling. I find that tapping helps. And now this paper is ready to dry out. Once it's dried a bit, you can iron it to keep it very flat. You can use the same basin to make another sheet of paper. The thickness of your paper depends on how much mushroom fiber you get on top of the screen. The fiber can also be used as a sort of modeling clay. If you have a paper fail or you've run out of materials, you can gather up the fiber and mold it. It will harden when it eventually dries out. Have fun making homemade paper and just imagine what else from nature can you use to make your own stuff. <laughs>